My gripes with the cosplay community and the convention scene altogether, or the, the scene altogether. I, I, I mean, I've been going to con since 2017, so I got to give you guys some backstory before I dive in to the meat and potatoes of of this video or stream or whatever you want to call it. So, got into the scene in 2017. And this was at Florida Supercon. I've always wanted to go to a convention because I've all, I've always seen it from the internet. People going to these cons and whatnot, dressing up in their favorite characters, and they're just and it just seems like a really good time. And they are like for the years that I have been going to cons, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, five years. Never been to one, and then COVID. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and COVID happened. <laughs> but I would say in 2020, I did go to one, which was um Super Fan Con, which was a, which was really good. I went to that one; that was fun, and that was you know their first time. So, con could, cons are very fun, and you know once you go to one, you want to at least go to as many as you can, as long as you can afford it. Because they can get really expensive, like especially on them Saturday single day tickets, like it can get expensive because there be a lot of people that are just coming in, and they're just so much, so much to look around, so much to see, so much to buy, and whatnot. So and like there's like things to do in the in the convention when you go there, and then of course you also have the cosplayers, and then of course you also learn of the community when you go to the con and whatnot. So I would say. 2018 i started to get into the cosplay community whatnot and it was welcoming like 2018 it was very welcoming when i came in 2019 which was a really good year went to a, i went to more cons in 2019 than i did in 2018 because i also learned of all these other um smaller cons Rather than your major cons, you would also have like a smaller one, which were really good, like Anime UI. Um, there was one called um, Gaku Con or whatnot, you know, G-A-C-U, but now they just do it on cruise ships and whatnot, which that, when I looked at the price of that shit, I was like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, no offense to them, but it's just that I, I, I am like, I respect um doing things completely different from the norm and i understand that that's their thing but i am not paying a bunch of i am not paying that price just to be on a cruise ship like a convention cruise ship like i'm good okay i'm, I'm good on that sounds like a great idea sounds like a good time but i'm good carnival cruise that's i'll, I'll do that or royal caribbean Car Car caribbean I'll do that. I'll do those type of cruises. At least you can get off the ship in, or if when you're on the ship, you have stuff to do. But back to the point. Getting into the scene, and then of course getting into the community, learning, you know, getting to know a lot of people within the community, and it was, it was, it was. My experience was very welcoming. I get so seasick. So that's a no go. But still, yeah, yeah. Like once you've been on a cruise, like you'll be seasick, but you know. But you, you, you'll end up shaking it off. Maybe a couple of drinks here or there. I mean, for me, a couple of drinks. All right, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Just tell me where the bar is at, and let me get a couple of shots in. And all right, I'm good. I can I can handle I can handle the waves. But you know, back to the point. Getting into the scene. Getting into the community. Great, good. And you know, seeing and learning and getting to know different people within the community. And whatnot, and I would say 2019, I was like really enjoying it. I was getting to know, even know, getting to know more people. Social media following was growing. I wanted to, you know, get to, to do more cosplays and whatnot because I was having fun. I was enjoying myself. And 2020 hit. You already know. <sighs> 2020 hit. Shit sucked. Most cons got canceled. It sucked. 2021 back into it and that's when i started to see a shift in people that's when i started seeing a shift in people that's when i started seeing no i wouldn't say 2021 is when i started seeing the shift 2020 i started seeing the shift like certain people 
are not being themselves. You have people turning their backs on people that they used to be cool with or whatnot. Like there was like a lot of drama that was going on in the summer. Like the summer, it was just it was nothing but drama. You had FGC drama, and now here in South Florida, you also had cosplay community drama. Like that was just going on and whatnot. People being outed. <laughs> yeah, same. It's for it's for clout. Yeah. Um, like that's when shit just started going left. And then 2021, all right. Conventions are coming back. I remember going to Otaku Fest in 2021 because I enjoyed the con. I enjoy the con. I I am really cool with the you know convention organizer and whatnot. And I, you know, wanted to be there to support the scene and, you know, of course, you know, support the people that are going to be at the con or whatnot. Like, nothing's not going to be perfect. And just the amount of, I would say, amount of, you could say it was, it's hate, but it's just a lot of negativity coming from a lot of cosplayers that were shaming other people for going to the con because of it's tw- it's early 2021, the pandemic's still going on and whatnot, and you're shaming people for wanting to go to a con. Mind you, majority of the people, majority of us had mask on, face mask on throughout the entire con and whatnot. The only time you'd see someone taking it off is if they're getting something to eat or drink and. Or if they're like taking a photo and it's just for like a photo or whatnot and then they just put it right back on. Like I saw people getting shamed. I saw people getting like attacked, especially on social media. Like motherfuckers came after me. And when that happened, that's when my attitude started to change towards the cosplay community. Because the people that I thought that would be, you know, cool or, you know, like really down to earth that were real, that's when I started to see that change. That's when it, that's when you start seeing people's true colors. And I was like, at that point, I'm not going I said I said I don't said it to myself as I was being attacked on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Like the people that you thought that would be supportive and they, you know, they they fucks with you and whatnot. When Otaku Fest 2021 happened and people were getting attacked, be, getting, uh, you know, DM'd, bombed or whatnot, and just, you know, saying some really, really nasty shit. That's when I was like, I'm not going to be nice to these fucking people no more. I'm not going to be nice to y'all. Because it's one thing, like, if you, it's one thing if you don't agree with my actions. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I do what the fuck I want. And the majority of the cosplayers that were attacking me and attacking a whole bunch of other people were mostly teenagers, still living with their parents, ain't got no job, ain't got no car. You don't live on your own. And you telling a grown ass adult, not just myself, but many other people who's trying to make some money because they can't go to work because due to the pandemic, shit got shut down. So they're out of a job. They're trying to make something. You want to attack them. You want to shame them. <laughs> yeah, Co- Coven, you, you you know you 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 Coven, you saw the whole shit. That video, that video of me ranting, that shit is still up. I have not taken that down. Yeah, them motherfuckers came after me. That's when I was like, I'm not gonna be nice with these people no more. I'm not. And that's when I started to see people's real true colors start coming out. And that's when I was like, you know what? Because of this experience, I need to start distancing myself away from the cosplay community, especially here in South Florida, because, and this is going to be one of my topics of discussion. One of them is a sense of entitlement. Most of these cosplayers, not most of them, because I'll say this, majority of the cosplayers here in South Florida or the people that go to conventions, majority of them are good people vast majority of them are good people especially the ones that i've come across very few very few of them it's like a good select few and you can tell by their actions are entitled as fuck and what i mean by the title as fuck is they feel like they dictate and decide the direction of where the community should go like 
hey, if you went to this, then you should be ashamed of yourself. We need to put your name out there for everyone. I'm just like, you are not even old enough to fucking drink, and you telling grown-ass adults what the fuck to do with their time and with their money? Fuck you. Like, nah, go fuck yourself. And I mean that. Exactly. It's <laughs> so Technique says, don't let anyone ruin your day. It's your day. Ruin it yourself. Exactly. <laughs> and in Otaku Fest 2021, I had a really good time. I had a really good time. But then the backlash from all the people, you know, literally sitting on Instagram and then, of course, on Twitter looking for people that went to the con and just completely putting their name out there like, yo, all this shit y'all saying to me online, none of you motherfuckers will say that shit to me in face. Because you know I'm that type of motherfucker that will pull up on you and check you right on the spot. Like, fuck out of here, dude. Fuck out of here. Like, the sense of entitlement cosplayers have because they have this amount of following. A lot of people listen to what they say and shit because they feel like they are morally superior. So they know what's best for everybody else. And I'm just like... You are just an adult that dresses up for fun and go to conventions. Sit your ass down. You don't know shit about fuck, okay? You don't pay your own bills. You don't pay taxes like everybody else. So shut your ass up. Mind your fucking business. You are not that important. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit if you have 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 followers with a fucking blue check mark. You are nobody at the end of the day. Outside the internet, you are a fucking nobody. How dare you have the audacity to tell other grown-ass people who got 10, 20, or even 30 years above you, and you're trying to dictate and tell them what to do. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I hate this sense of entitlement that cosplayers have within the community because they feel like because they have this strong following, because... A lot of people acknowledge them. They feel like they're the leader. Like, who the fuck made you leader? You don't pay your own bills. You still live with your parents. The fuck? <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> You're trying to tell grown ass people what the fuck to do. When the people that went to the con are trying to make some kind of money. You feel me? Trying to make something, you know, because, oh, well, if you need to make money, just open an online store that requires even more money. And some of you broke ass cosplayers don't want to support people. Y'all share their y'all share their content and whatnot. Fine, but you're not going to pay the price. Yeah, I have to raise the price higher because of shipping. I need to make something out of it. Otherwise, at a convention, it'd be a little bit cheaper. But these fucking kids don't get that shit. As I said, they don't know shit about fuck. They don't. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't. That's why I said, bruh, the sense of entitlement that y'all fucking got is insane. What, because you're a cosplay guest? You, you think you know it better than everybody else? Ooh, look at me. I'm, you know, I've been featured or I'm being posted on the front page because I'm popular or whatnot. You still fucking nobody outside the internet. Okay. I'll tell you right now, if I could walk up to a random person and ask them, Hey, do you know about this person? <laughs> do you know about this person? Be like, yo, who the fuck is this person? <laughs> Bro, the, the entitlement that cosplayers have is it's, it's so unreal. It's, it's so unreal, especially when you go to, like, big conventions and they just feel like they're hot shit, like their shit don't stink. Like, get the fuck out of here. I, I, I do not like the sense of entitlement that cosplayers have in the community. It makes me, it, it, I'm really, as much as I want to go to Megacon this year, I won't. 
due to other obligations that I have, so I won't be able to go to MegaCon. But yeah, I'm gonna see my black ass at um Holiday Matsuri. And I and I wanna know if it's as legit as people say it is, because I I'll keep it I'll keep it a stack. If that con is ass, I'ma say it. That con is ass. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. The con is not. It's one of the best ones. Yeah, uh, that's what I've heard about on um, Holiday Matsuri. That it's, it's one of the best ones. So I, I'll be there this year. I ain't go last year because the CEO and I was like, CEO comes first. The FGC comes first before the cosplay community. That that that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I plan to be at um Holiday Matsuri. You know, plan to start some shit there. But um, yeah, man, the sense of entitlement with the cosplay community that shit needs to go away. Like, I don't give a fuck if you have more followers than I do, and you got a fucking blue check mark, and you're getting sponsorships and deals and whatnot, and you're making money as a cosplayer. Hey, you know what? Hey, congratulations! I ain't knocking your hustle, but I'm still gonna tell you you ain't shit and shut the fuck up. I'm still gonna tell you that because I'm a grown ass man at the end of the day, and can't you and you can't tell me shit. I'm still do me at the end of the day. It is what it is. You don't like it? Oh, well. Kick rocks. My next point is narcissism in the cosplay community. Bro, the the narcissism in the cosplay community is real. People don't people don't people don't understand that. Like what for me being in this shit for about 5 years, the narcissism is real. It is real. Like the amount of bitching and complaining that I see cosplayers do on social media, I'm just like, if you're not getting the amount of traffic that you're used to getting, do something different. Make interesting content. Stop doing the same shit everybody else is doing because evidently it's not working. Stand out. Don't blend in. Fucking simple. 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 The worst ones are the ones that they fuck with you because you have a bigger following and once they end up surpassing you, oh, they stop fucking with you. I've seen that a lot. I've witnessed it. And people like that are fucking trash. They're scum. Like they only fuck with you because you got a bigger following and you leech off of them. You hang around them to the point where you no longer need them. And that's some scumbag shit. Like, cosplayers are narcissist as fuck. And it's not all of them. It's not. But, my God, it is just like, do y'all not smell your own shit and think it don't stink? I'm just saying. Like, you're not all that. Most time I go to a convention, most people are usually cosplaying the same character. Especially if the anime is mad popular. I'm not going to knock that like, Hey, you know, you do your thing, have fun with it, but don't act all high and mighty as if, you know, the attention needs to be on you. At the end of the day, you're still a nobody outside the fucking internet. You just so happen to dress up as a character when you go to a convention to compete, to have fun, to network. So have fun with that aspect. Be humble. But my God, it's just like, yo, if this person don't have like a good amount of following or whatnot. I don't want them around me. Or I feel like they may be dragging me down and some shit. I'm just like, yo, it's not that serious. Unless you're aiming to make it a full-time job, a full-time career to where this is your livelihood. This is what, you know, that is putting... That's paying your bills, putting food on your table and whatnot. You're going to act completely different, but you're not going to act like a complete fucking asshole as if you're the biggest shit in the convention. Like all all eyes on me. Like, no, because you'll still have motherfuckers. I'll just look at you and just keep it moving. Like <laughs> these clout lovers need to stop. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I see, like I see a lot of these cosplayers as just regular people, 
And and those are you typically the ones I respect the most where it's just like, you know, hey, I know I make these awesome, cool ass cosplays or whatnot, but I'm still like a regular person. Like there's nothing special about me. You feel me? Those people I madly respect where they act like, yeah, you know, I just, you know, threw on something, something or whatnot. Or I'm trying, you know, to accurately depict depict the character that I'm trying to cosplay as and whatnot. And they don't act they don't act like they're the, they're a hot shot. Like they're the biggest thing in town. They still act like, you know, just a regular person. Like those type of people I respect. But the other people that just feel like I'm so important in cosplay and out of cosplay, I'm just like, sit your ass down. Like literally, sit your ass down. <sighs> Gabe, go ahead and say the name, bro. Like for me, I mean, I would like I would want to name drop some people, but I, I would say at least this year there hasn't been any drama, any controversy. Like cosplay community aside, for, at least for this year, has been chill. It's been good. Last year was some fuck shit. <laughs> Last year was some fuck shit. Oh man! But at least this year things have been good. Now. Which is going to move on to my next topic. Because this is more going towards the conventions rather than the cosplayers. If anyone that runs a convention, understand this. This is not me attacking y'all. Alright, this is not me attacking y'all. But I am critiquing how y'all be running these conventions. These cons are starting to become nothing more than a swap shop con. For those that don't know what a swap shop is, if you've been to swap shop in Broward County, and I think it's on Sunrise Boulevard, and I forgot the, I've got the street that intersects and whatnot. It, my, my memory is just... But it's on Sunrise Boulevard going towards the beach. It's a big, huge-ass lot where they usually have like the drive-in movie theaters. That swap shop. These conventions are starting to become nothing more than swap shop cons, meaning it's a whole bunch of vendors and you don't have a lot of other features for cosplayers. Knowing that your con is going to attract majority of the cosplay community. Like the cosplayers make up the bulk of your con. And then after your cosplayers, you also have your casual people. And then shrinking down the list, you have your collectors, your hobbyists. So it's cosplayers, your bulk. Then it's your, fuck, I just, for, I just forgot the word. Your casual people that normally go to cons or whatnot. And then, of course, you also have your, and then you have a small group of just people who are, who are just hobbyists collectors things like that majority of these conventions bruh are starting to become like swap shot cons where they just cram in a whole bunch of vendors just a whole bunch of vendors and there's not nothing to do and that's and that's just it like that's the con i'm just like bruh bruh like is, is this it like i'm sorry like no you need to have stuff for your cosplay scene because that is the bulk of your attendees you need to have stuff for them the last couple of cons that i've went to there were no panels the cosplay contests where you know they would have a stage and whatnot they did it either outside or in some kind of big room area no stage nothing it was just like i'm like what the fuck is this? Like, I understand you. You know, you're, you're you're trying to make profit off of it, but don't go cheap with the experience, bruh. Do not go cheap. Because I guarantee you, if you spent a little bit more money to make sure that hey, let's have a staging platform so that way we can have our cosplayers go across the stage and strut their stuff to you know make it about them like they want their moment hence why they dress up in cosplay so that way they can compete in the contest 
look good, perform good, and entertain a bunch of people that are watching them on streets. Let them have their moment. Don't half-ass the shit when they're just outside in a big-ass open area and be like, all right, we're going to have the cosplay contest out there. No! That shit is lame. I'm sorry. That is lame. Stop half-assing it. Like, stop. And, of course, cramming rooms full of just nothing but vendors. Bro, the last one that I went to, and I'm not... I ain't going to say shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to mention the convention's name. I'm not. But, literally, the ones that, the ones that were there know which one I'm talking about. Literally, you go in, and it's just a one-way fucking traffic. You have... Vendors on the wall, and you have like a row of tape, like a, a table in the middle where you also have more vendors. I'm just like, listen, to make the flow of traffic go good, get rid of the fucking middle section. So that way there's more room for people to move around and breathe. Like, my God, that shit was claustrophobic. Like, was just, ugh. Like, bro, that shit was annoying. Like, stop cramming these rooms. Like, if you're going to have your cosplay in this one big main-ass room, have less vendors, have stuff that's going to cater more towards the cosplayers because guess what? They're, they're going to want to take photos. They're going to want to take videos. If there's a panel room, have that. Like an office room or some type where they can have a panel in, have a discussion in. Have that. Like, Panels are very important to have at a convention. If you don't have that, then it's like it takes away from the experience. Because you don't want cosplayers literally going around the con and it's just nothing but vendors. It's like, okay, that's that's it. That's it. I'm sorry, that shit is lame. It's lame. Like, stop with these swap shop cons. I'm, I know I'm ranting and it seems like I'm attacking y'all or whatnot, but it's like, if you want to do it right, sometimes less vendors and more stuff for your cosplayers is better because at least it shows cosplayers that, hey, we have stuff for you to enjoy, to um, consume because you know they love taking photos. They love taking videos. If there's like activities going on rather than just walking around the vendor section they're going to want to, you know, be a part of that. Like, have different activities there for them to enjoy and consume to pass time. Because once you go around the vendor section about a couple of times, it's like, you've already done seen everything that you need to see. And, it's, and, and, the, and most of the time, you're just like, chilling. Ain't doing shit. I would say the one con, even though it's small, but it does it right, is Anime UI. Anime UI does it right because, granted, yeah, it's small, but you have plenty of rooms to do panels. You have a room, you have a room, and then, of course, you also have vendors outside the hallway area, and, of course, you have some vendors in one room. The gaming area is, you know, very big to hold at least 50 to 60 people, and do not get me started on the gaming area. Oh, my God. Don't get me started on that because, oh, Woo. if you want to know that story, you'll, you'll have to, you know, talk to me in person about that because some of these gaming rooms, like, you know, hey, could you guys run a tournament? Yeah, sure. And the space is kind of just, no, no. No, like, no, no, look, like, uh-uh, no, but that's another topic for another day, I, I, I'm, that's, that's, all, that's all I'm gonna say, but, um, yeah, Gabe, you were there, you, you were there, <laughs> you were there, you, you, you saw the look on my face. You saw the look on my face, so you know. You know. Like, I was just like, bro. Bro, like, had they did, if they had did that one at, um, 
at the Blue Lagoon, that would have been better. But, again, as I said before, don't go cheap on the experience because majority of your attendees, the majority of the people that are going to attend your con are going to be cosplayers. They're going to come. They're going to show up. They're going to attend. Have stuff for them. Have stuff for them. Have stuff for them to enjoy, con- to con- have stuff for them to consume, to um, buy time, like activities, features, things like that. If that's going to increase the experience of your convention, because if all you're going to do is just cram it, nothing but vendors, and you have very little for your cosplay community, don't be surprised when they don't show up for your next one. Because it's like, why, 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 why should they? Because it's like, if you're going to have a con, or if at least if you're going to start a convention in South Florida, have shit that caters to your cosplay community scene. Have things that cater to them more rather than just, hey, let's just fill up these rooms with just nothing but vendors have a whole bunch of different stuff. And another thing that... I've, it really annoys me, and I know for for y'all that have went went to cons, you know I am right when I talk about this. You know I'm right when I talk about this. I am fucking tired of going around the convention and I see literally three, four, five, six vendors selling nothing but Funko Pops. Stop it! Like stop. Diversify the shit that you're selling. Because it's not gonna, it, it doesn't take a person that long to figure out which other vendor is selling them for less. Because if y'all are selling the same shit, all that person has to do is find out who is selling it for less. I'm finna go there. Stop with the multiple Funko Pops vendors. No shit, no shade to them, but god damn. Too many of y'all. <laughs> at least and Coven you bring up a good point at least with the artist alley there is some di- you know diverse content there like there are diverse vendors in the artist alley gallery that do sell different stuff I'm gonna give them credit on that like have something different and unique that's gonna catch people's eye because if I just Go down one aisle, and there's about two or three people selling Funko Pops. I'm just like, yeah, I'm turning back around. Fuck that. Fuck. Nah. Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like, oh, my God. It's just different. Just sell something different. It does. I understand Funko Pops are, like, they're cheap to get, and you can just, you know, sell them or whatnot. But, God damn. You don't need four, five, six vendors selling the same goddamn thing. Like, stop. Because, as I said before, it's not going to take a person that long to figure out which one is selling it for less. And it's going to suck for that person that's try- that's selling that Funko Pop for twice the price trying to make some profit. Meanwhile, this person's literally selling it for a cheaper price. And they're probably making about, wait, maybe, what, $1 or $2 profit? Money talks, bullshit walks. Like these swap shop cons, man. Just they, they just need to stop. Stop filling these rooms up with just nothing but vendors. It be cr- and don't cram the room. Like you want, you want space for people to breathe. Like there's a saying: either you go big or you go home. Some of these cons ain't going big. They're not. They're trying to cash in big by not going big. And and it's like that's the wrong way to that that's that's just not the right way to go about it. Like, as I said before, you you need some you you need features that's going to enhance the experience because most cosplayers don't care about vendors. Most of them don't. Because most of them are broke. <laughs> <laughs> at least Gabe you you, you know at, see you, you know I'm not going to say but if you're reading in the Twitch chat he knows like he was there I'm just like 
Oh my God. Like I had a much game. You, you, you know, I had a much different face, a, a much different attitude when I was at Otaku Fest. <laughs> I had a much different face, but, you know, you live and you learn, you know? And I just hope that the people that are running the cons, because here's the thing. It's not like I don't want them to be in business. I want them to be in business. I want them to be successful. I want the South Florida community for, you know, for cosplayers and for geeks, nerds, and gamers and whatnot. I want it to be thriving, but do it the right way. Like, have things that are going to cater to the bulk of your community so that way they can spread the word tell their other friends so that way next year you have a much bigger turnout because look at um look at look at otaku fest 2019 they got um we had the whole hurricane dorian situation which it still had a good turnout like otaku fest 2019 had a really good t- turnout 2020 it didn't happen 2021 that's when people started coming coming back, and this was you know still during the pandemic, and whatnot. But this year, twenty twenty two, it was od packed. Like holy fuck, it was packed. Like yo, it was like, and I was just like, yo, it, Otaku Fest this year was so packed. There was so much to do. There was so much to just look around and explore and whatnot. And it's just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were definitely right about that one. 2020, 2020 last year, whoo, especially at that, at, at that, um, place. Yeah, that, that sucked. That, that one was, that was, that one was a tragedy, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that, but, um, at least this year, Otaku Fest, it was good. So you already know next year is going to be even better. And that's the thing. I want these other conventions to thrive. I want them to do good. But if you want to compete at the level of, let's just say, Otaku Fest or even Florida Supercon, which are literally the two biggest conventions in South Florida, if you want to go toe-to-toe with these guys, you're going to have to step it up. You can't be cheap on the experience. You can't just be like, hey, we're just going to have this really big room, cram it with vendors, we'll have the cosplay contest at out fucking side or some or some place and just call it a day no don't do it that that way because you're literally no don't because when you're gonna have a next one and people know is that the same place they're not gonna show up they're not they will not show up if you're doing it at the same place and there's not a and it's and, and it's same place same same location they ain't gonna show up because it's like what's the point all is good because they're gonna already know from past experience. It's nothing going. It's nothing gonna be. It's nothing. It's gonna be nothing but a room full of just vendors. It's gonna be another swap shop con. That's it. They ain't gonna show up. Why bother? They'll they'll wait for another con that's gonna offer them even more. They'll gladly pay more to another con that's gonna offer them more. Because if this is all, if that's the best you're gonna offer, then it's like, what's the point? Why make the drive? Why take why why call off call off work you know like stop stop with the swap shop cons like I want y'all to succeed I want all these other cons to do well to do good but you cannot be cheap on the experience don't be cheap don't pack these rooms with nothing but vendors it does not work all that's gonna do is hurt you long term the more you keep doing it. I best believe my ass ain't gonna be there. If they have the if the cons that I feel like were swap shop cons, if if it don't change, my ass ain't gonna be there. If it's gonna be the same location, yeah, I ain't gonna be there. You ain't gonna see me there. Nope. So back somebody, he's gonna be there. Nope. I'm gonna stay my ass home. <laughs> All right, my next point is call out bad behavior when it happens, but not online. Bro, I hate this. I I hate this so much, and this is coming from cosplayers, when something bad happens, or someone did something wrong to them or whatnot, or they wronged them in some kind of way, or, you know, they, you know, they harassed somebody, or they bullied someone, right, or they stalked someone at the convention, they, they, that person did that to them, and they wait until after the convention, 
when when the convention's done and over with, to say something, to call them out online. Why the fuck do y'all do that? If this person is doing you wrong, if this person is harassing you, if this person is stalking you, call them the fuck out right there on the spot. Call them out on it. Because I guarantee you, you do that, guess what they're going to do? Not fuck with you anymore. They're going to go away. Because now, everyone around has eyes on them. The attention is on them. The pressure is on them. Online, it's just like, stop doing that. Just stop. Especially... If y'all claim to be adults, stop doing that. <laughs> I remember Gamer Comic Expo. I remember that. Like they they could have done they could have done that convention right. They just went about it completely wrong. Because if anything, it, it sucked for the vendors. What about Infinite Bits 2009? Did you went? N- no. Fizzy, I didn't go to con- conventions until 2017. I didn't go to Constance until 2017. 2009, I was like in the military. I was in the army. But um, back to the point. It was the first video game called up. Oh, I never heard of it. But um, back to the point. Like, if you know someone is doing something wrong, or you catch them doing something wrong, don't wait until the convention is over to finally speak up. Speak up now. Speak up now. S- speak your transgressions during the time it has happened. Don't wait until everything is over to then you want to speak up. Like, no, people. Y'all need to get into the habit. I understand people are shy, people are timid and whatnot, but get into the habit of calling motherfuckers out that are doing you wrong, that are harassing you, that are bullying you, that are stalking you. Call them out on it. Don't be afraid to call them out because you will see more. When people see that, you'll have more people on your side than using your internet clout. Stop it. If you see the bad behavior or if it's being done to you, call them out on it or find one of the convention staff and let them know immediately. Do not wait until the convention's over. It's, 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 it's a pet peeve of mine. This is like, why do y'all wait until the con is done and over to say something? And that happened in 2021 when... You had people saying that, oh, well, at the convention, even though this person was there at the convention, I saw people not wearing masks. And I was like, okay, did you tell the um, convention staff? No, I didn't. So why the fuck are you saying anything about it now? If you didn't tell them then, then if you didn't tell them then during the time it actually happened, and now you want to say something and then try to put the blame on them, trying to make them look bad, like, no, you're trying to make them look bad when... You had when you saw and witnessed, hey, they're doing something wrong, and you wait until the convention is over and then blame the convention staff and convention organizer for not taking initiative. Like, no, no, yeah, you're right, Gabe. Like, at that point, they're witch hunting. No, I hated that. Like, and I started checking people on that shit. I'm like, yo, you gonna wait until the con is done. To finally say something? Get the fuck out of here. And, and and this is not even coming from teenagers. This is coming from adults. People are over 20. That's why I was like, I can't take y'all motherfuckers seriously, bro. I can't. Y'all wait until the very last fucking moment to say something. When it was greatly important to say at the time it happened. Anyway. Another one. Another topic of discussion I want to talk about. Dudes need to be around people their age, not minors. Now. I know some people may know about the controversy that happened with one cosplayer in particular. I'm not going to put his name out there. 
He's, he's he's done for. Like he's no longer in the convention scene. Like he got completely canceled, deleted his accounts, and all the other shit. But um, some people knew who. Some people know who I'm talking about. And he's not the only one. But there are other dudes that are doing like doing shit like that where, you know, they see a you know an attractive female cosplayer and whatnot, and come to find out that female cosplayer is under the age. And that person. Is like well over 25. And I'm just like, why are you consistently hanging around this person? Do you not know that that is going to put a very bad image on you? Because the moment people figure out and find out that you're doing something illegal, you're doing, you're harassing this person. And that person is under the age. It is not going to look good on you. No matter how you're trying to cover it up. And be like oh it's not like that. It's not going to happen like that. Or you're just going to wait until that person turns 18. To, to then come publicly. To come out publicly about it. Like don't do it. If that person is under age. Walk the other way. Take a photo. Chat a little bit. Walk the other way. Don't hang around them. Don't try to be their friend or whatnot. Nah. Now, and I told this dude, and I spoke to him privately through Discord, and I told him, bro, you need to get your shit together. You need to stop hanging around people that are not around your age. If they are under the age of 18, hell, I told him, if they're under the age of 20, don't hang around them. It's not going to be a good look for you. Keep to yourself, because in this community, people will attack you. They will... They will get a complete huge witch hunt on you and go after you. They did the shit to me. Okay. They did that shit to me. And I'm like, yo, I don't even fuck with people like that. I'll just be to myself. You feel me? Like if, if you've seen me around conventions and whatnot, you know that I usually just, I, I go, I rock solo. I don't be in these cosplay groups or whatnot because i've seen people turn on each other bruh i'm just like you think i want that shit for me hell nah now i understand there's a huge age difference because i'm in my 30s and they're in their young 20s or whatnot so yeah there's going to be a level of misunderstanding where they may not understand from my point of view and i sure as fuck not gonna understand from their point of view so you're not gonna see me around a group of Young 20 year olds, like, nah, I ain't hanging with, nah, nah I'm not doing that shit. I'll, I'll, I'll walk solo. That, that's just me. Because at the end of the day, I got to watch my own back. Because motherfuckers in the cosplay community, they will stab you in the back. Best believe. They will throw you under the bus to save their own ass. But. As I was just like reading the chat and whatnot, but um, yeah, I was telling, I was talking to just like, bro, you need to be around people around your age and whatnot. Even like you're in the community where you can easily find friends, but it's hard to trust people to know if that person has your back or whatnot. Because as I said before, in the cosmic community, people will stab you in the back; they'll throw you under the bus. You are better off rocking solo, keeping everything just. Keeping everything just professional, you feel me? Like, keeping it professional, keeping it mutual. Like, for me, I would say in the cosplay community, there's probably about, I would say there's about 10 people that I fuck with. 10 people I fuck with. And those 10 people, they know who they are. We DM each other, you know, most of the time throughout the week or whatnot, just, you know, talking about shit or, you know, sharing memes and whatnot. Like there, there there's that. and then of course when we go when we at cons, we meet up, we chit chat, we talk or whatnot, and you know, and I keep it moving. There's about ten people I fuck with. A lot of people other than that, there's like a lot of people that I'm cool with and I just keep it that way. Like it's not gonna go it's not gonna get anything closer. Like you're not gonna try to, you're not gonna get closer to me. Like I'm a just I'm just more of this is my circle. And in my immediate circle, there are other circles that I got. You feel me? So the far outer circle are a bunch of people I don't fuck with. 
like I know who they are, and I'm not saying like that person's a bad person, whatnot. Like the people that I don't fuck with or I'm not cool with, I don't got no ill will towards them. I don't. I have no ill will towards them. It's just that I don't fuck with them. They all right, but I don't fuck with them. I don't. You don't see me hanging around with them. If anything, it's just pass by. Hey, what's up? Chilling. You know me. I'm always working and whatnot. You know, trying to make things, you know, trying to do big things. And I just keep it moving. That's it. Keep it short. Keep it simple. I don't want to take too much. I don't want to take people's time. I just, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. And just keep it short and simple. That's it. Because as I said before, there are people, you got narcissists in this community. They don't got your best interest. They ain't, they ain't not going to look out for you. So best believe, should something happen, they may throw you under the bus. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Me when I'm only around older people. <laughs> exactly. <that. laughs> oh, man. Like. That, that's just me, man. Like, if I'm going, if I'm at a con, bro, I'm always rocking solo. Sometimes I'll be there with Waluigi or whatnot, but it's like. I like to keep my circle as small as possible. Keep it as small as possible. And because other people are going to talk about you. They're going to be like, oh, I saw Senpai. Okay. He was just, you know, just, you know, Senpai doing Senpai. Just he's either going to be running tournaments or he's doing things with Flynn's or whatnot. Or just talk with a couple of people. That's it. I just keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it simple. Like. Don't involve yourself with minors, especially outside convention where you're DMing them, you're texting them, and just like, don't do it. Don't do it. Because if shit go left, you get exposed, and that's your ass. I've seen it happen. I've seen the Google document sheets. <laughs> the Google document sheets, the twit longers. I've seen it. It happens. So, if you're a dude, hey. I understand you see an attractive woman, you see someone attractive, you see someone you like, and and that, and that's another little side topic. Don't go, don't got fellas, don't go to a con thinking you're gonna hook up with somebody. Just don't, just don't, don't do it to yourself. Cause I I I can I can say this from my observation: most girls that go to conventions, they're either going with their friends. Most of the time, they're they're with their friends. They're there with their significant other, and they ain't trying, ain't, and they not looking to hook up with anybody. They just there to just have fun, enjoy the moment for the time being, and then they are gonna bounce. That's what I said. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it moving. If y'all run into each other again, short, simple, keep it moving. Y'all run into each other again, short, simple, keep it moving. If, and if if it grows into something, cool. But. As I said, keep it short, keep it simple, keep it moving. As simple as that. Don't go to a convention thinking you're gonna hook up with somebody because you see, you see someone looking fine or whatnot, and you think, all right, I, I, I might shoot my shot. You're gonna get shot the fuck down. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna shoot your shot. You're gonna get shot the fuck down. I've seen that shit happen before. And it's tragic, but it's funny as fuck. <laughs> uh, I've seen it happen at conventions before, like. I've seen dudes, they shoot, they shot, they get shot the fuck down. I'm like, God damn. But it should be funny, though. <laughs> It'd be some funny shit. It'd be some funny shit, man. I, I, I love to see it, but it's just like, oh, my God. This, 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 man is about to, this man is about to be really, really down bad. This dude is about to go ahead and go to the vendor that's selling the body pillows. He's about to buy two of them bitches. Go home, get the lotion, pull up the porn hub, and just go to town. <laughs> he about to be really down bad because, you know, his favorite cosplayer shot his shot him down. Man's down bad, y'all. <laughs> Pour one out to the to the homie. <laughs> Covered dead ass, bro. Dead ass. <laughs> uh, but I, 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 I'm, I'm not one to judge because I got a fucking body pillow too. I got a body pillow too, but I'm engaged. Okay, I, I got me a woman. I sleep with her more than I sleep with the body pillow. If anything, the body pillows here in the, in, in this room, 
Like, if I had to take a nap or some shit. <clears throat> so he's like, you already poured the monitor. <laughs> For real. Like, it, 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 that's, that's what I'm like. I'm, I'm just advising y'all dudes. One, do not associate yourself with minors. And two, don't go and shoot your shot. At some of the female cosplayers that you see at the conventions and whatnot. Yes, she looks good and whatnot, but don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Especially in public. Especially if people are seeing and watching and whatnot. Don't do it. I understand. Like, I, I get it. But don't do it. Because, you, because it's very, 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 very rare they going to say yes. If anything, they're going to be like, nah, I'm good. They're going to shoot you down. <laughs> I avoid that. Some drunk girl I'll talk to Fest 2021, but she had a man who was drunk. I think I know who you're talking about. I think I know who you're talking about, Gabe. I think I, I know exactly who you're talking about. Because I remember there were some drunk-ass people at don't talk Fest. But, um, yeah, fellas. Don't associate with yourself with minors and don't shoot your shot at conventions. I'm going to tell you right now, save your, save yourself the disappointment is all I'm going to say. And all right, my last point, ladies, y'all need to mind your own business and stop spreading gossip, which causes drama. Y'all need to stop that shit. It's not cute. I know some of y'all do it because y'all want to out another bitch that you don't like. And you and you want to see nothing more for her to be completely get destroyed. She loses money and whatnot. Stop it because if anything, you are adding to the toxicity in the cosplay community when there are people that are trying to get rid of it. Stop it. Stop spreading the gossip. Stop spreading the drama. Stop spreading gossip, which which is going to cause drama. Mind your own business. It is what it is. You hear some tea? Okay. That's it. You don't need to spread it. You don't need to go tell other people about it, which creates a chain of rumors. Then the story gets mixed up. Just be like, yeah, I know about it, but I'm going to just, you know, keep my distance. I ain't going to just, you know, tell the entire whole world or whatnot. You don't want to cause drama. Like, ladies, stop that. It's 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 not cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> exactly that too Gabe like don't be spreading these rumors on social media or whatnot like stop it just stop it I understand you don't like the bitch but just be like you know what I ain't gonna get involved I'm I'm you ju you're just gonna just you know about it but you won't leave it alone if it's not extremely serious to where Real serious action needs to be taken care of, which would involve like law enforcement or this person is doing some pedo shit. That's when you get involved or, you know, someone got, you know, you know, sexually harassed or whatnot. OK, that's when you you that's when, OK, you can take the necessary actions and just go with that. But the whole world don't need to know about it. OK. The whole world don't need to know about it. Hand, handle it professionally, privately, with the parties involved, and squash it. Done. That's it. It's done. It's taken care of. That way, it doesn't spread more into the community, which ends up creating false narratives, rumors, and shit like that. Like, it's not good. It does not help the community at all. So, ladies, stop it. It's not cute. <laughs> FGC community is amazing, but this community for Cosplay, they need to stop. Yeah, they, 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 they really do. Because if anything, it, it just adds, it just adds more toxicity into the community. It's just like, it's, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not warranted for it. Like they really need to stop that guys too. guys too. Like people just mind your business, bro. Like if it's not extremely serious to where serious action needs to be taken care of, then just Squash it, be done with it, move on as it. Like, stop it. But other than that, man, 
I think that's about it. I think I've said everything I need to say in my notes about the narcissism in the cosplay community, about the sense of entitlement, conventions being nothing more than swap shot cons, uh, calling out bad behavior when it happens, not online. Dudes need to be around, people their age, not minors, and stop trying to shoot y'all shot. And last but not least, ladies need to mind your own business and stop spreading gossip, which causes drama. <clears throat> Same with dudes too, but I see it more with with the uh, women. <laughs> like, mature up. Like, yeah, be adults. Like maturity. Like most people, not most, a good number in the cosplay, a good number of people within the cosplay community need to grow the fuck up. If you want to be taken seriously as an adult, start acting like it. Start holding yourself accountable. Know when you see a bad situation, be like, yo, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm good. But if this shit exhalates, I'm going to take the necessary actions. Like, if you're going to, if you don't, if you're going to, if you want to be treated like an adult, act like it. Hold yourself to it. Because a lot of cosplayers be acting immature as fuck. And it don't even be the teenagers. It'd be the adults that's over 20. And that's sad. <clears throat> Even a simple cosplay contest is toxic. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It can be toxic. Due to judges. Because if you have. If you know your cosplay groups. Around the social medias or whatnot. Or at cons. And you find out that they're a judge. You already know they're gonna put. They're gonna root for their friend. You already know they're gonna vote for their friend. Guaranteed. It, it's ha- it's happened before. It is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm gonna leave that alone because I feel like the topics that I discussed, those were the main ones that I feel like the people in the cosplay community need to really um, take notice of because. The way I see it, because it's like you have adults that act like teenagers. They act like they are still back in high school. And I'm just like, you work a job, you go to school or whatnot. Like you're a grown adult. You're not in your high school years. Like that popularity shit is over because remember, once the convention is done, you're ba- you're back to your regular life all over again. Granted, yeah, the cosplay the con- the convention does provide a great escape for co- for um for your young people or people at any age to go into a convention dress up as their favorite character link up with um other people of similar interests and just have a good time that's what i love about the, what what i love about the cosplay community but there are some toxic shit some bad shit in it that needs to be cleaned up is all i'm saying like, get it together, y'all. Especially y'all adults. Because once the convention is done and over with, you're back to your regular life all over again until the next con. Like, don't be that person where, and uh, this, I mean, th- you could make this another point. Don't don't be that cosplayer where you have to put on an act when you're at, when you're at conventions. But outside of conventions, you're a completely different person. Some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, and you've seen it happen before where they act one way when they're in a convention, but outside the convention, they're a completely different person. Because, yeah, I'm dressing up as this person, and I'm acting and portraying as this person. You have this persona that you carry with when you're at conventions, but when you're outside the conventions, when you're in real life like everybody else, you're completely different. I've seen that happen way too much. Way too much. Like, be yourself. Be you. That, that That's why, to me, honestly, I stopped cosplaying because I wasn't having fun with it. Granted, yeah, I, I still got my samurai cosplay. I still got my bleach cosplay that I can always do. I can, you know, also, you know, put on the, you know, the tactical vest and all that other shit. I, I, I still got all of that, you know. I can still do that, but I'm just like, I ain't feeling it. That and, of course, I'm running tournaments, so, yeah, fuck all that. Fuck all that shit. 
I ain't cosplaying. Even at the Flynn's events, it's like, I ain't cosplaying no more. <laughs> Your Solera was awesome. I, I know. And I got. And what sucks about my Solera cosplay is the fact that I got more shit for it. But it's just like, I, I, I don't be in the mood to cosplay. It's just like, I ain't feeling it. I'm, I may bring Solera back. I may bring him back. Because I did like that one. Because there's not that many, you know, Dark Souls cosplayers. There's, there's not many. There's that one Bloodborne cosplayer. And I know at Otaku Fest, I saw another Solera cosplayer. And I was like, fuck, I could have cosplayed as Solera. But who knows? Maybe another time. Maybe I'll pick it up. Because I still got the sword. I still got the shield. I still got the helmet. Who knows? Maybe Solera will come back. But um, I can't guarantee when. But it's like this year is like I'm, I'm not feeling it. Maybe when I go to Hallmat, I may cosplay. Maybe. But then again, cosplay is fucking expensive, bro. It's fucking expensive. It's, it, it's an expensive hobby, but you have fun with it. And I think I just I just have to limit the amount of cosplays that I want to do. You know? That and, of course, I got to lose weight. I'm tired of looking fat in my cosplays, bro. I'm trying to lose weight. Like I said, I ain't cosplaying until I lose, uh, until I lose some really good weight. And I get the muscle where I need it to be. So that way I have my aesthetic look that I'm trying to achieve. So, yeah. Now, I'm not going to be, like, completely um, shredded, but good enough. Good enough. I've always just wanted to do Artist Alley. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I got nothing, I got nothing negative towards the... Uh, I have nothing negative to say towards the artist. Nothing in particular. Because most artists I've come across in conventions been chill, been cool as fuck. Got nothing against them. Same with vendors too. I'm just annoyed. I'm just annoyed at the fact that you have vendors that are literally, you have multiple vendors literally selling the same shit. Like that shit's annoying. That shit's annoying. But you know, who knows? Maybe one day I run a convention. You know, with, with all with all my gripes and my complaints, maybe one day I run a convention. And it's going to be one bomb-ass convention. Believe that. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get on up out of here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching. And, yeah, man, that's my gripes with the cosplay community and the scene all together. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, you wild for that. <laughs> all right, Coven, Gabe, y'all be easy. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to head on up out of here. Y'all take care. Thank y'all for watching. All right.